Finals! And <laughs> was it when I wasn't? Yeah, just uh, uh, the rush I went through the entire semester of getting uh, things done and organized and certain groups I had to sign up to and uh, programs. Um, all my instructors were awesome. Um, there's always uh, people that rub your shoulders the wrong way, no matter what. And uh, I had one in, one instructor uh, send me over to the English department, and uh, just just the English department guy was like insisted on me applying for um, a learning disability, and I was like, wow, you know, it's like. Oh, he, I mean, he absolutely insisted, like, through the entire meeting I had with him. He was like, you, you must have a learning disability if you're struggling in English, you know. And uh, in my mind, I was thinking, well, why is he insisting so, so, so much, you know. And uh, um, I know I don't have a learning disability, but I know in the state of California, if you have uh, any kind of mental issue, or if you're diagnosed with a me mental disability, which learning a learning disability falls into that category, you're unable to vote. So my suspicion of him <laughs> kind of coercing uh, students to apply for a learning disability kind of kind of reminds me of somebody pushing an agenda, a biased agenda on someone. Um, so, as I look into that, um, my situation is just, you know, I'm 38, I dropped out of high school, uh, I got a GED, and uh, my first semester in college, I had no idea what a, what a thesis was, or, or how, to, how, to, how to do academic style work, and uh, it's a major difference between a high school essay, uh, where you present uh, uh, your topic, and introduce <laughs> your main ideas uh, in a body, uh, but it's, it's definitely more, a uh, little bit more work into uh, academic style work and, and essays and creating thesis out of thin air. And uh, uh, I'm working on that to become a better writer, but I do know what, what uh, I do know what they want and what they expect, so I just can't deliver that right now. Um, but uh, as far as uh, that individual, I'm looking into that, and uh, and uh, perhaps I'm I'm trying to meet other students that that uh, applied for that learning disability uh, program, maddening to me. Um, but uh, at Long Beach City College, actually lives up to uh, uh, what I heard about Long Beach City College. You know, it's a it's a long history and. Uh, I've always wanted to come here to this city college versus El Segundo. El Segundo would have been my second choice, which it was. And uh, if anything were to happen here, that's probably where I end up going. Um, University of Long Beach is awesome. But of course, USC and UCLA. Those are my choices. Anything else would uh, just, I would just go regardless uh, of what location or what school. I'll end up going, but those are my <laughs> those are my choices, and uh, uh, I really try to I really try to pass my first semester. But uh, I think if I come up with a good uh, uh, biography transfer, uh, that uh, I think they can look past the, the uh, low grades in my first semester. But uh, I know where I'm at, so I'm not an idiot. I'm just. Uh, uh, was behind uh, for many reasons uh, that people struggle in life. And, uh, but I'm really glad I'm, glad I'm here. I'm doing this for a bunch of reasons and uh, not only just for myself, I'm not selfish. And uh, <laughs> I really miss those people. And uh, uh, finals change people's lives. As I, I, as I stay the same person, I progress and uh, as others stay stagnant, static, they uh, never change. So, uh, but I just want to say, uh, even though this may not make it on the video, <laughs> I love my kids 
and I miss them very much, as well as uh, their birth mothers, so uh, I love you. There's some really hot women out here in uh, college. <laughs> I'm able to balance that, like uh, my kids and then sex. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> But, um, um, wow, 